Hey folks, it's Nick and Mitch. Hi. <laughs> Don't mind him, he wanted two pieces of gum from his his gum canister, he took five instead. It was easier to put him in my mouth and back in the, back in the, the can. Yeah. He's still coming down from his uh, beer buzz. Uh -huh. Anyways folks, we've just came out to go see Predators and if I have to say something about Predators is that it's one of the classic franchises that I've seen part one, part two, they had they made three in total, four in total. If you count the uh, aliens versus AVP. Uh, AVP, aliens versus predator. And I like this one better than either one. AVP one or two. Well, let me put it to you this way. I never thought Adrian Brody would make a good action movie uh, actor, but I take it back. The fact that they had Topher Grace. Lawrence Fishburne, Adrian Brody, uh, and the other guys, I can't remember their names, so I'll put them all below in the baldy, and a very nice, interesting uh, woman uh, who played Isabel. Uh, I can't remember what her name was. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh, pardon me. Elizabeth. Anyways, they had classic predators inside this movie. Uh, one, at the very least, as far as we could tell, and uh, Mitch but has a, a hypothesis that out of the predators that you see in the movie, the tallest, biggest, meanest one is more than likely a female. Well, I don't think it's what, they, what Robert Rodriguez actually went for, but in the books, uh, in the books that they were out years and years and years ago, following their first two predator movies, uh, at least the books that they were alluded to the predator versus aliens versus predator. There's mention of the predator races females, which it's kind of like the uh, praying mantis versus her male. The females are much bigger, much stronger, much more temperamental, but not as, not quite as smart. Yeah, but that's what they wrote about them. Now the funny thing is, is like Mitch said, Robert Rodriguez directed this movie. I have to say that it's a fresh new installment in the franchise that went from good, somewhat good, bad, better than the last one. And <laughs> it, it, no, it's because if you follow the aliens, not the aliens, but if you follow Predators, you've seen them in their high point and their low point throughout the four movies that they did with the franchise. This fifth installment actually gives it more, uh, pardon the pun, fresh blood. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, actually quite amazing, and uh, there is one warning that both of us will give to you, and it's simply this. If you're not a fan of gore, if you're not a fan of blood, if you're not a fan of violence, this is not the movie Go for you. Go see Despicable Me if you're if not a fan of gore, blood, or violence. Yeah, Despicable Me. We haven't seen it yet, we're planning on going to see it, but we may be seeing it separately and doing a review separately. Cause I have to work. Yeah, he has to work, and uh, <laughs> I'm free. Unless we make it to the matinee, if it's only an hour and a half, we'll drive like gangbusters to your workplace, I'll drop you off at a high speed. Anyways, we're getting off topic here. The actual movie itself works very well. It's uh, It doesn't have many low uh, points in regards to... No, there's not to really any boring period in the movie at all. Any 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 boring movie, uh, b movies... B boring uh, periods in the movie, they're very limited. And I do mean very, very limited. Just enough to give you yourself, yourself a... <laughs> Okay, I feel rested now. Ah! Okay, well, he's not joining in the fun, but anyways, it's it's that type of thing. There were lots of adult jokes, lots of dark humor, uh, really worth it. Lots of gunfire, too. If you're a fan of, uh, well, gunfire, hey, they have it. They have it all. Yeah, and I'm still not sure what the hell that gun was Adrian Brody was carrying. It was either something custom they made for the movie, or it's an M16 with a custom case. Uh, I don't know. It was shotgun shells. I think you're right. No, it was shotgun shells. That's what he was carrying out of yeah, the Yeah, because the, the drum was was about, year, year about this sick. Yeah. So, folks, you have to go see this. If it is one of the summer movies that you want to go see, uh, well, me and Mitch, both thumbs up. And it's not for the script, trust me on that. The script itself is simplistic. The storyline is simplistic. The movie itself is divine. Yes, the, the script is, we're aliens, we're big, we want to hunt, we want to hunt you. Here, we we prey hunts to, hunts to human, not the human hunts to prey. Now bend over. Anyways, enough from both of us. Th this rating, this review just went up to NC-17 with his uh, acting chops. 
Two thumbs up from me and two thumbs up from Mitch. Two thumbs up and, and, and a swollen, crooked forefinger. <laughs> uh -huh. And a pinky. Anyways, folks, have a nice one.